Come along and join Carol Schlegel in the farming and ranching community of McCook in the heart of southwest Nebraska, where she leads prairie chicken dance tours. Nebraska's greater prairie chicken population is estimated to range somewhere between 800,000 to 2.5 million birds, and yet they're one of Nebraska's most rarely spotted bird species, as they are so adept at hiding out in the prairie's tall buffalo grass. Carol Schlegel. We're in southwest Nebraska. My husband and I farm in Hitchcock and Red Willow counties. My husband is the fifth generation on the farm. We actually live in the house that he came home from the hospital to, so we're kind of stairs. They homesteaded in 1883. Tell us about the prairie chickens. Prairie chickens do their mating dance. They come out in the spring of the year every year and come to the exact same location every year. Early in the morning they'll come out and do their mating dance and do their drumming. The Latin word for prairie chicken loosely translates into drummer of love. And that's what they're doing is trying to attract the females to come in and mate with them. Let's back up a second and why I went with you to see the prairie chickens today. You're a farmer, you're a rancher and yet you're taking people out to see prairie chickens. Working with the landowner, we weren't on my farm, we were on someone else's. I'm also the tourism director for McCook and Red Willow County, and giving people the opportunity to see something that they're not normally going to be able to see is how we started sharing the prairie chickens with them. It's a way to bring more people into our community who wouldn't normally come to McCook, Nebraska. If you're a North American birder and you have your life list checklist, this is a specific bird species that you have to see. We have people on every tour, they say, this is on my life list or this is on my bucket list. The prairie chicken is not a bird that you would see along a highway or traveling around. It's a very private, hidden bird, isn't it? It is. I would say probably 95% of the people that live here in McCook have never seen a prairie chicken. You have to be at a specific place at a specific time to see them. And if you're not out on the lek, the area that they gather in, you're not going to see them in the spring. What is a lek and where would you find a lek? A lek is what the mating area, the actual geographic area that the chickens meet in. It's generally high up on top of a hill in a pasture setting, an area that has not been cultivated for any crops. There's usually crop ground around because the prairie chickens use that for feed. But it's generally buffalo grass with some tall grasses around it and then they'll come in out of the tall grasses into the buffalo grass to do their dance. Do they choose that to see and be seen and also so they can look out for predators? That's definitely it. It is a wide open expanse so they can see anything coming from a distance if a predator's coming like a hawk or they definitely see each other there. Talk about what you visually see when they do their dance. It's pretty cool, even from a colorful stuff. First, the roosters will drop their heads and they'll inflate these big air sacs or gullards on the side of their necks and they're a bright orange color. There's a bit of magenta right at the top of them. They're kind of a teardrop shape. And then they will make this booming noise that's almost like when you blow over the top of the soda bottle. And then they drum their feet. And if you're quiet in the blind, you can hear them drumming on the ground with their feet. So the girl birds are sitting in the bushes watching the show and the dance? I don't know how they decide which one that is the one that they want to mate with. There's also a statistic that one or two male birds will be responsible for 80% of the hatch. So there's a lot of males that are not involved in the, the breeding process. Is this species at risk? Actually, numbers are really good in Nebraska and Colorado and even Kansas as well. It is a game bird. There is a hunting season for it in the fall. And if it was any way endangered, there would not be a hunting season. But like you said, it's such an obscure bird to see and find that the hunters probably don't get that many of them. No, it takes a lot of walking. I mean, you could walk 
10,000 acres and not see a chicken. And I don't know to me that really want to walk that much for one little bird. Habitat restoration and protecting of habitat, is there, are there efforts underway on that? More on an individual basis. Those that know they have lex do protect them, but there isn't any organization around the prairie chickens. It's it's just one of those obscure birds that you don't see, so it kind of is out of sight, out of mind to people. Thank you so much, Carol. What a wonderful morning to be out on the lake. Glad you enjoyed it. You go out in the when the stars are bright and we get away from the light pollution of even the community of McCook and come back in when the sun's up and the clouds are in the sky. It's a beautiful way to start the day. Excellent. Thanks again. I'm Tom Wilmer reporting from McCook, Nebraska. <laughs>